Hi, this is Andrew at Bluegrass Vape, and today we're going to be building a coil uh, from the Universal Coil Building Tool. We're going to be using 20 gauge cantho. Yes, I know that's guitar string, but uh, it actually holds pretty well up in the RDA. Alright, we just put the insert piece here. This piece goes into here. And as you can see, there's a little hole that's going to be coming important. We're using a 4 inch piece of 20 gauge cantle, as I said. So when you put this in, you have to slide it through the hole and then <coughs> clamp it down so it doesn't move. Now using this tool, we're going to be using the bigger side, the 35. We're just going to be sticking it down right there. and then we're going to be twisting and then it's going to catch on the outside and then we're going to keep twisting that's one rep that's two that's three that's four that's five and that's enough it's going to be a really low ohm resistance, so don't be surprised if you build a double of these that your machine won't be able to use it. Like I said, I've built one of these at a 0 .08 before, and my WizMac wasn't able to pick it up, so just be careful about that and realize. All right, to take it out, this is going to be probably the hardest part about building the coil is taking it out. Actually, that wasn't that bad. Take a pair of pliers. Do you see how this looks like that? You want it to look flat. Take your needle nose pliers, and then you're going to crimp it down like this. And also you're going to grab one of these leads, and then you're going to crimp one end up or down, depending. So As you can see, it should end up looking like that. These are separated. There's a little bend. This should read about a 0.2, if not a 0.18, by itself. Like I said, there are five wraps on this, and 20 gauge cancel really handles the charge very well. All right, and there you go. I hope you enjoyed it, and vape safe.